The broadcast Mini Mbesa is our sign language interpreter. TV 47 weekend begins right now. Chief Justice Martha Kome today took oath of office alongside Supreme Court Judge Justice William Mouko at State House in Nairobi. Justice Kome now becomes the first female Chief Justice in the country. But her tenure ahead as Chief Justice is bumpy with her appeal against the High Court ruling in which the BBI Constitutional Amendment Bill was declared null and void. I... Martha Karambu Kome. On Friday the 21st of May. To diligently serve the people and the Republic of Kenya. Chief Justice Martha Karambu Kome took the oath of office, becoming the first female Chief Justice in the country. On 19th of May 2021. Kome, who is expected to officially assume office on Monday next week, promised to expeditiously serve justice without fear of favor as President Uhuru Kenyatta reread her oath, asking her to protect and preserve judicial independence. Protect, administer, defend this constitution with a view of upholding the dignity and the respect for the judiciary and the judicial system of Kenya and promoting fairness, independence, competence and integrity within it. These are important ones which are often referred to as guiding principles, impartiality, independence, fairness, power to protect the constitution, to render service and in, with integrity and competency. This all or constantly remind me that this power is entrusted to us as servants of the people, to work with others, to once ensuring justice is done, that it is dispensed expeditiously, without fear or favor or undue regard to technicalities. Supreme Court Judge William Mouko, who studied together with Lady Justice Kome at the University of Nairobi in 1983, also took the oath of office. When we sat in the same class in the early 80s, we never knew that one day like this would come, that you'd be the Chief Justice of the Republic and I would be in the Supreme Court. We were classmates. He was my boss, the President of the Court of Appeal. We competed for the same position and we kept on en encouraging and cheering one another that we are in a friendly match. This is a lesson politicians need to learn from us. Lady Justice Comer's entry is, however, full. Her first task will be appointing the panel of Court of Appeal judges who will hear and determine the appeal against the High Court ruling, which declared the BBI Constitutional Amendment Bill unconstitutional. Kome is also expected to rebuild the judiciary-executive shaky relationship. The wrangles between President Kenyatta and her predecessor retired Chief Justice David Maraga exacerbated the judiciary's role in dispensing justice after President Kenyatta failed to appoint 41 judges. Two years ago, Maraga accused the national government of cutting the judiciary's budget by about 3 billion shillings, crippling Maraga's mobile court pilot project that aimed to deal with cases in remote areas. However, President Kenyatta has asked Kome and Ouko not to worry of the executive judiciary's part, insisting there is no bad blood between the two arms of government. Both of you, at least, we may talk from grassroots uko mumekua in the system hakuna kukusomesha kichochote fanya haki tu na sisi hatutakuwa na shida the independence of the judiciary in decision making and as stated in the hold that i and my brother have taken today cannot be interfered with our decision making in hiring of staff that independence is protected and ring fenced in the constitution such that any party or authority attempting to direct how the judiciary should decide a matter would be in violation of the Constitution. Kome's tenure officially begins on Monday next week, becoming Kenya's 15th Chief Justice and the third CJ under the current Constitution. 
her name will however be engraved in the books of history if she succeeds in solving the judiciary's woes. Now away from politics, 